Well, we would work to develop Canada into a place where young people today have a real future, a decent future to look forward to. First step of that process will be to defeat the Conservatives in the coming election on October 19th. But that's only the start. And what will they be replaced with? Another kinder, gentler version of the same policies? A Harper light? Or will it be a genuine alternative? That's why our party, for instance, is calling for a $20 an hour minimum wage for expanding, uh, defending and expanding Canadian sovereignty, democracy, equality, and a sustainable and a healthy environment. It would mean raising wages and living standards for working people and reversing privatization and instead expanding social programs like health care, public education, post-secondary education, uh, child care, and so on. It would also include closing the wage gap between men and women and ending violence against women. We would fight against racism, sexism, homophobia, and transphobia. And we call for justice for Aboriginal peoples and for the rights of all nations in Canada to full equality in a voluntary partnership. We would also support expanding democratic rights, starting with scrapping Bill C-51 and adding proportional representation. In our view, it's time to change Canada's foreign policy towards peace and disarmament and environmental sustainability. The Communist Party and the Young Communist League will be there after the election because we know that the fight for a truly new direction for our country will continue after this election has come and gone. And we will be there in that fight to shift power to working people uh, and to move towards socialism.